All right. Hi, guys. We're going to experience Wortley Village in Old South. Wortley Village is the little village in the center of Old South. So just to be clear, it goes from somewhere around Commissioners down to um, downtown, I guess the bridge would be um, the crossroads, Warncliffe to Wellington. West of Warncliffe is not Old South and east of Wellington is not Old South as well. So when people say it and they're not within those boundaries, it's not Old South. So you can see this is an older part of the city and as we're driving into this area, I just want you to experience what a lot of my clients experience is the sudden awareness that you're no longer in the city proper. It feels like you're in a town. When you feel that, you're in Wortley Village. This is one of the ways I can uh, let people know, or at least let them decide if they're Wortley people, because there's a certain type of people that are Wortley people. I always make a joke that um, people in Wortley either have rescue dogs or, or purebreds, but they never have anything in between. And that's probably mostly true. So as you start in here, we've got just a few shops spattering, large houses, character houses, um, older. On the right we have what used to be the normal school is what it was called. I believe it was a nursing school. Now um, the YMCA um, uh, is in there with daycare and what have you. So all of a sudden blooms a town and this is basically where it starts. On your right, you'll find uh, Rotley, Wortley Roadhouse. Great blues. If you want to hear some music, they got a little patio. And on your left is a f um, fought hard to keep grocery store, which makes Wortley one of the best walking neighborhoods. Curiosities. the library, a village tale for uh, your puppy needs. And you can see how many people are walking and shopping here. This is the kind of neighborhood it is. You've got some really quaint little um, pubs and restaurants. Old South Village Pub, the Little Bird Cafe. two coffee shops upon each other doesn't matter they seem to do well on one side Atkins and one side Craig we're gonna go straight for now but I'm gonna take you around the corner past Atkins because there's a guy here who owns a shop and I want you to get go past him so down here, we're heading towards downtown. And again, mostly all older homes. There's been a few new builds, but new builds are done carefully in this neighborhood in order to uh, complement the architecture and style of the homes. We're just along Thames Park here. <coughs> I mean, just look at just the different styles, the character, character, no characters here. And we're just going to turn down here for a moment. Two stories. The thing with Old South is that people buy up these old homes and in order to fix them up properly in the standards that you would expect in Old South, you have to bring in new items that are going to complement 
but not disrupt the character in the home. So you got to be really careful. You can't do um, 1990s style cabinetry in a kitchen and expect people to go, oh yeah, that's old self character. It's it's not. So uh, it's a very careful renovation that anyone would do in this in this neighborhood. You pay a little bit more for what you get in square footage for sure, but you also have the bonus, the, the, the buy-in is the neighborhood. So you're close to downtown, you're walking distance to everything. You have character homes, you have loads of trees, and just the convenience of this neighborhood is amazing. Lots of parks, lots of walking, and a lot of community involvement. Everyone, um, everyone is friendly, talking to everyone. I mean, they're out on the street, they're walking their dogs, so you're going to be talking to people. So I've lived in Old Cell twice, and it was just, it was such a convenient place to be. Um, people were lovely. This is a newer building, but again, you can see that they had to add some character. It's not a plain building, and um, that's done for a reason. So right around the corner here is probably one of my favorite shops to go check out. I don't know that I buy a lot there just because I don't have an album collection, but this is the Village Idiot, and he sells records. And they're really cool, colorful records, different shapes, collector's items, right? But such a cool place to go into. You got a few one ways in Old South, so you have to be aware. You find a lot of homes that have less than the usual single lane driveway. So in saying that, you've got some houses that have back lanes. There's the normal school again. You can see the YMCA daycare happening, which is good because it really was uh, waning. You got see some uh, people doing exercises over there. my open house signs in the back. <laughs> it's like, what's all that noise? Oh yeah, so you end up with back lanes, I was saying. You end up with back lanes and you end up with um, mutual lanes. Not everybody, but um, that is something you see a lot of in Old South. If one area of London is going to make decisions in regards to um, environmental causes or um, things along those lines, it's most likely going to be this neighborhood or Old East Village. Ah, there we go. Bike lanes, which are becoming more normal in London, which is great. This would be a neighborhood would, who would use it. Not the most, but more so than some others. So you can see the lovely awnings, lots of trees and, and gardens. See the dome-like uh, entries to some of the homes. 
we're just uh, right behind South Secondary. I lived here in my early 20s. Um, yeah, so you can see the tall angles on some of the homes. They're all very different. There just really isn't um, homes that continuously, you know, are the same, you know. No little salt, salt boxes. There's my old apartment building. Hey, guys. Biggest bachelor apartment I ever had. It was huge. And you can see how well taken care of all the, all the yards are and the properties. They're just, you know, they, they love their homes. They love their neighborhood. You have those little library stands here. And I think this one coming up straight ahead is probably one of my favorite places. I mean, there's so much to look at on this street anyway. It's so pretty. The homes are so lovely. But I've always liked just at the end here, actually the two of them, because you can see the rolled um, roofing on the one, which is really cool. These two houses are just adorable. And that is absolutely old self character. Now look at these. They almost look like they're old school houses. One next to the other. I would think those would be considered um, authentic Ontario cottages. Right? This one does look like an old school house or something. You know, bring on the vines and the trees and what have you, right? This is uh, a very popular neighborhood. It uh, scores as one of the best neighborhoods to live across Canada. Um, and that's probably because of all its um, character, its walkability, its ease to downtown. Um, and the personality of the people who live here and how they like to uh, how they like to live and how friendly they are that's how they like to live Tucker's home hardware right here has been there forever so you'll hear advertisements for them the, I mean with the space that they're allowed it's amazing they can put in as much as they can so London drivers are known to um, you know own the road <laughs> We're not necessarily the most cooperative drivers, um, but the one place that is not true is in Old South. Way more co cooperative drivers. Because you have to be, there's parking along the roads and in order to get around um, and have two lanes, you have to be cooperative. See, here's a mutual drive. You can spot it right here. I don't even have to look up the listing to find out it is. One lane, everybody pulls off to the side, their, their appropriate side. So this is something you see in Old South all the time. Not every house, but some of them. So it's something to be aware of when you're, when you're looking to buy here. You're also going to find um, Almost every house has either had basement work or probably will need basement work. You find those, uh, you know, basement wraps on the inside of basements in order to keep um, seepage and water out. This is something, you know, if you haven't had it done, you will have it done. That's the theory in Wortley Village. So we're on Elmwood, which is another one-way street. I lived here too. You can see even the old um, buildings were given some amount of character.
And if you can spot this house at the side, I'm sorry, I'm stopping quickly, with the round dome at the side and you've got kind of a round room at the front of it. Just things you wouldn't find in other areas of the city in regards to structure. one of the neighborhoods that you're going to find a third floor in use even. Cute little pink house or salmon depending on if you're a boy or a girl. <laughs> like this is just, you can barely see this thing from the amount of trees they have here. It's crazy. I'm sorry I've got you right in front of a tree, don't I? doing a backup here. This one's just crazy cute. And not so much because it's like a massive like um, architectural interest, but look at this crazy vines they've allowed to go up there. Okay, just so you know, don't let that happen. Those vines are like creeping in that attic, but you can tell we've got a hippie essence over here. That's for sure. And that's not unusual for Old South. You get hippie people, you get um, professionals who really look after the, their yards. They all live together with their specialty dogs or their rescued dogs. And then we're out to Warncliffe. Now, so this is where Old South ends. Got Highland Theater around the corner though. You can go there, that's a good, good place to watch a movie for sure. Yeah, 